Now, the first thing you want to do is drag your video clip onto the timeline. So here's my video of a car driving on a racetrack. So how do we add a fade in effect, also known as fade from black to the intro of your video clip. So we have a nice fade in effect. So the first thing you need to do is go to transitions and start typing fade into transitions search box. Now click and drag the first search result onto the beginning of your clip. Now rewind the video and press the play button to preview your fade in effect. Now, if you want to make your fade in effect longer, just drag it by the corner here. And another thing you will notice is the fade in effect actually starts in the middle of this bar, not the very beginning. So that's another thing to consider when trying to change the length of your fade in effect. Now to fade out, just drag the same fade effect from transitions onto the ending part of your clip. And as you can see, it's going to fade out just as well. Now to remove the fade in and fade out effects, just click on the effect box and press delete key on the keyboard. Now there's another similar way to fade out in Filmora video editor, and that is the dissolve effect. So if you type dissolve into the search box over here and drag it onto the timeline where your clip begins, and I'm going to add another one to fade out. So now if you play your video clip, you will see the video fade in, except notice that it starts from the very beginning. And if you play it at the end, you'll see the video fade out. Now, the difference between the fade and dissolve is that the dissolve is used for cross fading between two different videos, which I'm going to cover in my next tutorial. And the dissolve effect can also be controlled as far as its length goes. You can make your fade in a lot faster. So here's an example of that. And if you want to make the fade in effect longer, simply drag it out farther into your video clip. Now, if you need more precision over the length of your fade out effect, simply right click on the dissolve effect and go to duration option. And here simply type in, let's say two seconds exactly and click save. And now you have your fade in effect that will last exactly two seconds.